Given the graph of a quadratic function, f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, what can you say about its discriminant, b squared minus 4ac? Well, let's recall where we've seen the discriminant b squared minus 4ac before. We've seen it in the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula says the solutions to the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero are given by x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Notice that the discriminant is the radicand, the expression underneath the radical symbol. Therefore, it gives us important information about the number of solutions to the quadratic equation. If the discriminant is positive, then there will be two real solutions. That's because the square root of a positive number is a positive real number. And if we add or subtract a positive real number from minus b, we'll end up with two different numbers. We'll end up with two different real solutions. Now, if the discriminant is zero, then there's only one real solution. That's because the square root of zero is zero. And if you add or take away zero from minus b, you end up with minus b, just one number. Finally, if the discriminant is negative, then there are no real solutions. That's because the square root of a negative number is imaginary. It's not real. Therefore, there are no real solutions. So what does the discriminant have to do with our graphs? Well, notice that in both the quadratic function and the quadratic equation, we have the expression ax squared plus bx plus c. So we could substitute f of x for ax squared plus bx plus c in the quadratic equation. When we make the substitution, we get the equation f of x is equal to zero, and the discriminant tells us how many real solutions that equation will have. Let's think about what it means to solve f of x is equal to zero. What we're trying to do is to find all the values of x such that the corresponding y values are equal to zero. Well, on a graph, the y values are equal to zero along the x-axis. So what we're really trying to do is to find the x-intercepts of the graph. For graph A, we see that there are no x-intercepts. Therefore, the equation f of x is equal to zero has no real solutions. And since there are no real solutions, that means that the discriminant must be negative. For part b, we see that the graph has two x-intercepts. Therefore, the equation f of x is equal to zero has two real solutions. Since there are two real solutions, we conclude that the discriminant is positive. Finally, for part c, we see that the graph has just one x-intercept. Therefore, the equation f of x is equal to zero has just one real solution. Since there is one real solution, that means that the discriminant is equal to zero.